Welcome to the image analysis for finger. Let's get started. Image analysis guidelines for the PA uh, finger projection state that the soft tissue width and mid shaft concavity should be equal on both sides of the phalange. There should be no soft tissue overlap from the adjacent digits. The interphalangeal and the metacarpophalangeal joints are demonstrated as open spaces. The phalanges should be demonstrated without for shortening. The uh, proximal interphalangeal joint should, uh, should be at, demonstrated at the center of the exposure field. And the finger and half of the metacarpal are included within the exposure field. The next slide gives you those uh, image analysis guidelines I just reviewed. So let's take a look at this first practice analysis of the finger. Um, in this practice analysis you can see that the concavity of this side of the finger is greater than the other side of the finger with the soft tissue. This means the finger was externally rotated. What we need to do is internally rotate that finger so it is placing it flat against that IR so that we get that equal concavity on both sides of the finger for the soft tissue in order to get that uh, in a true PA projection. In our second practice analysis, you can take a look at this finger and see that we have some distal phalanx for shortening and some uh, middle phalanx for shortening. This is a result from the finger being um, flexed. So what we need to do is extend that finger and place that palm flat against the IR uh, to get a true PA finger projection. Uh, the uh, image analysis uh, practice does give you a, um, an option if the patient is unable to extend the finger then you can position the, uh, the finger in an AP projection aligning that phalanx of the interest um, parallel with the IR or the affected joint space perpendicular to the IR and um, take a second projection. But I would suggest um, trying to uh, first get obtain the projection in the correct um, stated way of the PA finger analysis. Um, or you can take both projections and send them to the physician and just make sure you give a detailed description of why you did what you did. Let's move on to the PA oblique projection. The PA oblique image analysis guidelines state that twice as much soft tissue width should be demonstrated on one side of the phalange as on the other side. More concavity is seen on one aspect of the phalange mid shaft than the others. There should be no overlap of the adjacent fingers. The interphalangeal and metacarpal phalangeal joints are demonstrated as open. The phalanx should not be demonstrated as for shortened. The proximal interphalangeal joint is at the center of the exposure field. And the finger and half of the metacarpal should all be included within the exposure field. I have provided those uh, image analysis guidelines on the next slide for you. 
wanted to review what insufficient finger rotation and excessive finger rotation look like in a PA oblique projection. In uh, the case of insufficient uh, finger rotation, the phalangeal uh, mid shaft concavity or and soft tissue width on both sides of the digit are more nearly uh, equal on both sides, then your finger was not rotated in that required 45 degrees, as you can see in this first projection. In the case of excessive finger rotation, um, the soft tissue width on one side of the digit is more than twice as much on the other side and when one aspect of the phalangeal mid shaft is concave but the other aspect is slightly convex um, that should indicate to you that the finger was rotated more than 45 degrees so let's take a look at this uh, practice analysis for the pa oblique finger Looking at this image, I automatically think this looks kind of like a PA. And the reason I am thinking this is because the um, soft tissue um, on both sides of the phalanx, phalanx look nearly equal. So this should tell you that we are insufficiently rotated. Um, for to correct this, we need to increase the degree of finger obliquity to 45 degrees. Also, our uh, interphalangeal and uh, uh, metacarpal phalangeal joints are closed. Um, we need to make sure that the finger is uh, aligned parallel with the IR in order to um, get those joints open. Moving on to our lateral uh, finger projection. Image analysis guidelines for the lateral finger projection state that there should be no overlap from the adjacent fingers. The anterior surface of the middle and proximal uh, phalanges should demonstrate mid shaft concavity and the posterior surface should show slight convexity. More than twice as much soft tissue width is demonstrated on the anterior surface than the posterior surface in a lateral projection. The interphalangeal joints are demonstrated as open spaces. Phalanges are not foreshortened. And the proximal interphalangeal joint is at the center of the exposure field. The entire finger and metacarpal head are included within the exposure field. I have included the uh, finger projection analysis guidelines on the next slide. An insufficient uh, finger rotation for um, the lateral projection, you're typically going to see the finger kind of present more like a PA projection. There's going to be more um, soft tissue on both sides, or it's going to be almost equal on both sides of the finger. Um, I typically like to look at the uh, metacarpal heads, determine if I'm insufficient or sufficiently or, or excessively rotated. Anytime that my um, digits appear to be anterior that I'm imaging to the other, then I know I am um, excessively um, rotated or if I know that that digit is posterior to the other digits I'm um, imaging, or then um, I know that I am under rotated. So definitely look at all the anatomy as a whole. In this image analysis of the lateral finger, you can see that the concavity on both sides of the phalanges of this phalange, um, especially in the middle and the proximal phalange, are um, concave more so. 
Uh, the finger in this instance was not adequately rotated for the projection. Also, when you look at the um, tuft here, it kind of looks like it is rolled in, kind of like an oblique. It's not that great, but it should look more like it's on in, like just straight up and down for the most part and superimposed. Also, I see that there's one little condyle here and one condyle here, which allows, lets me know that these little condyles aren't superimposed and we have some rotation. Um, so make sure you take a look at these little um, nuances in the images so that you can determine rotation in a finger projection.